We're still learning about this wonderful trip that I had. That's right. Now, I have to admit, child, I'm a little jealous. I always am because of these trips that you are able to take. Again, the Mascara Festival is celebrated every October during the Charter Day of Bacolod. It is a festival that reminds us how the people of Bacolod came together to overcome great ordeals, all with a big smile on their face. So, visitas, ready your smiles because our virtual tour begins in three, two, one. Moving rainbows right before your eyes. Dancing with the roaring drum beats. Beyond the sea of giant smiles, there's a sweet story of timeless hope waiting just for you. I can feel your smiles from here. I'm Chow, and today we'll go on a special three-in-one getaway. Yes, three adventures in one tour. From rich heritage to heirloom flavors down to the most exciting and colorful fiesta you'll ever witness. Visitas, get ready for the Mascara Festival! Colin City, the locals are warm and fun-loving, and that's reflected in their world-famous Mascara Festival. To see this, we'll experience spectacular street parties, enormous masks and costumes, and energetic crowds that will surely leave you smiling from ear to ear. Exciting, right? But first, let's explore the abundant and sweet heritage of their land. Let's go! Hectares and hectares of sugarcane fields enriched by volcanic soil. This is the primary industry of the region. And in return, it has given the locals an abundant lifestyle. And it's evident in their heritage houses just like this one. I neglect it. You see this? These houses bear witness to the highs and lows of the region. Because even when the downfall of the sugar industry hit, these structures remain standing still. These challenging times also gave birth to the Mascara Festival we know today. Trip down memory lane, right, Visitas? We can see the strength and the smiles of the locals as they overcome the odds. Hmm, since we're talking about sugar, why don't we enjoy some sweet snacks? Follow me, Visitas! Visitas, let's indulge in our food crawl. And we'll kick things off with a sugary feast here in this heritage house in the middle of the city, the Secret Garden. In front of me are sweets and other delicacies that you only get to taste here. We have mayonnaise, avocado mousse cake, and we also have the local specialty, yaya. Let's eat, or as they say here, tara, kaunta. Holland City really has a lot of surprises, just like these yummy treats. From sweets, we're down to our next foodie stop. Here we get to try the fresh seafood of the Colod and their pala pala style of dining. You get to pick the freshest seafood and have them cook it the way you want it. This is our third foodie stop. This store belongs to the top 50 best street food in the world. What exactly is Kansi? 
It's a tender beef soup boiled around four to five hours, mixed with but one. Fruity stuff. Here we'll get to taste the savory goodness of the Holland's chicken in a salad, or simply put, grilled chicken. Trust me, Besitas, you've never tasted chicken like this before. Heritage Tour? Check. Food crawl? Check. Our first two adventures have shown us why the locals of Bacolod have the brightest smiles. Their rich history and delectable cuisines are simply unmatched. Visitas, prepare your colorful mask and get your body moving. Our last adventure is all about the Mascara Festival experience. All of that when we return. I mean, the, the culture, the color, the, the food. I, I really have to say, what a virtual tour you had, Chal. And that's only the first part, Visitas. Through the virtual tour, we've got to, uh, we've been able to immerse ourselves in the sweet heritage of Negros Occidental Province. That's also full of surprises. Their hectares of sugarcane fields and well-preserved ancestral houses are definitely worth the visit. Now, Chal, you had a food crawl around Bacolod yes. City. And I honestly <laughs> envy you because of you know, all the delicious things that you were able to taste. It looked like such a gastronomic treat. You know, during the food crawl, Paolo, I saw a lot of uh, comments from our visitors while right? I was yeah, showing yeah, the wonderful yeah. food crawl. Mm -hmm. Like, OMG, you're making me hungry. <laughs> Someone saying that I'm going to open this box already. <laughs> I can't wait. So, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, everyone. You, you'll have the time to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't worry also, Paolo, because, because I have I something for you. That, that, that's what I like to hear. This one over here. All <laughs> right. Okay, I can't wait for your surprise, child. How about you, Visitas? What part of the virtual tour did you enjoy the most? Please, Write down your comments in the chat box. Like we said, we already saw some of you saying, oh, we're so jealous. I'm getting hungry. I want to open that box and see what's inside. Don't worry. There's, there's, it's going to be worth the wait. Uh, How I to think be you, child. I see that <laughs> comment. Simple. Come on over to the Philippines and, and experience our fiestas as well. That's right. It looks like a few people are familiar also with uh, Kansi. You know, and oh. what was that like? Good? So, Delicious? Really? How do I explain this? Oh, a burst of flavors. Mm. You've got the little bit of sourness, which is a wonderful surprise, but also flavorful, meaty soup. Okay, I was already, I was already <laughs> I over. I, put it inside the I box. was already over it, and now I'm jealous <laughs> all over again. How are you gonna make this up to us, Chow? Uh, no. By inviting all of you to come on over to the Philippines, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I see some people asking if Kansi is like Bulalo. Yeah. Yes, somewhat. You just have a little bit of tangy flavor, flavor okay. with yeah. it as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, oh, I wish you could all try it right now. But yes, it's not just Kansi. There's also Piaya, something... Mm, uh, another one of my yes, favorites. No. That one I like too. And Inasal. Come on, keep on typing. Um, we have Jo Marie from... Cambodia saying that we are rich in culture, yes, and in yummy food too. Yeah, as you well. know it, you know it. All right, uh, it looks like a lot of people are into the piaya and the otap. It looks like many of them. Some of them, them opened already the <laughs> kid, but we'll, we'll talk about it in a bit. All right. Uh, I wonder what Emma means 
uh, by saying uh, piyaya ng Diyos. Maybe you can type up and explain that I to know. us. Well, okay. again, we're, we're all just really jealous of your experience and I want to know if there's anything here that's going to make up for that child. All right, all right. Here's one of our favorite parts, Casitas. Mm-hmm. It's time to open our festival ah. here since we're talking about food okay. and everything that I've been experiencing. Paolo, here's one especially just for you. There you go. Apasalubo. That's what I'm talking about. of course, is a gift that is typically given by someone who just came from a trip like me. But of course, I did not forget you, Paolo, and all of you, Visitas. So yes, go ahead. Because you all have the same contents inside your box. Thank you very much, Chell, for taking this uh, or bringing this for us. Now, I can already smell the sweetness, all right? We were talking about this area that you visited being the, the sugar capital. You know, their, their business is all about sugar. Negros Occidental and Bacolod is all about the sugar fields out there. Uh, Visitas. Let us go ahead, open up those kits. Let me see some of you showing your festival kits to the camera. Go ahead, hold them up. There they yes, are. Yes, there they are. Okay, guys, open it up and let's check what's inside. First off, we've got some of Bacolod's famous uh, delicacy, piaya. Oh, it's it's this one over here. Now, you got to try freshly cooked piaya. It's yes. even better, but this is pretty delicious. One of my favorites. I'll give a little tip to everyone. You can even heat it up. Yeah. yeah. That's a yeah. different way to eat it, right? The inside gets a little bit warm and sort of gooey. <laughs> oh, yum. I can't wait to But to either way, it's still good. <laughs> All right, we've also got some otap. Now, otap is a different sensation. It's crispy, crunchy. Uh, excuse there me, we there go. we go. Crispy, crunchy. Um, and and uh, a really interesting, yeah. yeah, really interesting uh, texture to it. Okay, and we've got another crunchy yet sweet dessert. There's Moscovado uh, sugar, in case you guys want to give that a try. And Biscocho. Okay, Biscocho is also another delicious treat that you'll find here in this box. Now, it's not all about the food, of course. We've also got little things here. A cute handcrafted piece of decoration made of recycled coffee cups. Oh, interesting. Which is pretty, which is pretty interesting. You can use it as a keepsake or a souvenir. Um, and you have a little piece of a Holy City and Negros Occidental in your own home. Now, again, all of these delicacies and products are proudly made in Bacolod City and Negros Occidental. So if you've got a sweet tooth, and who doesn't, right? You'll enjoy all of these. More than that, you'll have a taste of Bacolod right inside your homes. Go ahead and enjoy, guys. Oops, Paolo, hold on, hold on. Here's another important ah, contents from the kit. Can I yes. see everyone hold it, holding it up? This one over here. This one is our mascara, oh, mascara activity <laughs> kit. Go right. ahead. Did I get your attention already? Okay, good. There now that everyone's go. looking, holding it up, this is for you, Paolo, because Thank you know you very why. Much. <laughs> well, yes, you know, this means that it's time for me and our visitas actually to get their hands a little dirty, just a little dirty, because up next is our craft workshop. Now, visitas, why don't you get ready for our next activity? Clear out some space on your desk, bring out your mascara activity kit, and we will get started. So go ahead, pull out the contents, or, or wait for me to actually walk you through uh, pulling out the contents, but ready the kit, clear some space on your desk because we are going to have a lot of fun. Paolo, the question is, are your creative skills ready? Well, I'm going to give it my best <laughs> shot. Tell you what, we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. But more importantly, if you're feeling a little bit daunted by the task, I tap someone who can help us turn this activity kit into an amazing creation. So if you just excuse me for yes, just a moment, ahead. I need to go Excited over on that this. side of the studio <laughs> and actually meet her, all right? All right, Paolo. Visit us while Paolo gets ready. Let's send him some good luck. Just keep your hands up and... Uh, Throw in love and light towards this way as he makes this wonderful mascara. Go on and just write down at the chat box uh, so far what you are enjoying and what you are looking forward to. Again, I'm reminding all of our visitas to bring out your mascara activity kit so that we could all start making it, okay? Uh, you can start opening it. Okay. Uh, Philippine Bo. Riza is saying, love the goodies. You're welcome. Yes, they are good. Uh, Jill saying hello from Shanghai. Uh, Haza, of huh? course, but saying um, he's excited to be connected from all, everyone all around the world. Yes. Uh, Ava is loving the piaya. All right, all right. The food, I get it. But this time, I'm going to remind you guys to open up your mask festival kit so that we could really get into the fiesta, right? And who knows, maybe later on we could take a photo with it and experience it. Go ahead, open it. I see you guys holding it. Riza's holding it up already. Uh, Mark is already opening it up as well. Karen already has it out. Perfect. I see you. 
uh, start pulling them out, lay it on the table that's in front of you, or uh, maybe clear out the workstation a little bit. And when you're ready, we're going to have Paolo and of course, an expert to help us out. All right, looks like they're good and you visitas are good too. I'll turn you over to Paolo right now. As you've witnessed in the virtual tour with Chad a little bit earlier, it's not a mascara festival without the vibrant masks that they adorn. The fun begins with one smiling mask. Now, we want to bring you that experience right inside your own home by helping you create your very own mascara mask. Now, to help us today, we are joined by Miss Marita Alcazar de Leon. She's a woman with a full-rounded or a well-rounded background in the world of arts and design. She has worked as a graphic designer and art director in the field of advertising while also specializing in claymation and stop motion on the side. An artist through and through, she has explored various art mediums and recently discovered the love for painting in the form of pet portraiture and furniture upcycling. So once again, let's welcome Miss Marita Alcazar and De Leon. Hi, Marita. Hi, Paolo. <laughs> Hello, visitas. Nice to have you here. It's nice to see all of yes. them all over the world, right? Wow, I, I, I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, mm -hmm. are you guys ready to make your own version of the mascara mask? Thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, visitas. If you guys are ready, have you cleared space in front of you? We're going to be uh, getting our hands a little bit dirty here, but it's going to be worth it. Tell you what, we've got an expert here to show us just how creative or you're going to help us unlock our creative side and really put uh, some work into these mascara uh, masks. First, we have to open our kits. All right. So open your kits and look, uh, look at all the contents. So go ahead, visitas. Uh, open up that, uh, that kit. Uh, lay the contents out in front of you, create some space uh, on your desk so that we can uh, start off this project. Now, this kit comes with pretty much everything you need in order to complete the project. You may want to add or uh, have a pair of scissors handy, um, which is going to be a big help. But e otherwise, everything you need here is uh, is already part of the package. Now, before we start, let's have a quick rundown of our craft materials. We have a printed die-cut mascara mask and headdress. Uh, we've got uh, the base of the headdress, uh, which is this piece over here. We've got assorted feathers uh, and, of course, flat back beads and colorful sequins. Now, there's also glue included in the kit, some uh, gold uh, cord or gold string, and finally, the piece of paper with the written and printed instructions on there. But tell you what, it's not going to be hard at all because we can follow along. We've got an expert here to show us. Everything you need is already part of the kit. But like I said, it would be great if you have a pair of scissors handy. All right, Marita, how are we going to start? That's right, Paolo. Uh, and also, one other tip is you need some wet wipes because ah. it's really going to be sticky later <laughs> on and okay. messy. And That's then... One thing I always do when I do crafts, I organize. Mm. Since our sequence and our beads are so tiny, I, I color code them in different containers here. All right, that's that's uh, the voice of experience speaking there. Pro tip if I ever saw one. Um, it, it can get a little bit messy because these are small pieces. If you want to keep things neat, um, that's a great tip Marita out. has over there. Use these small organize. containers, organize them, and that way you can actually uh, come back to them at any point uh, You know, if you want to create more of these designs and more masks. But first, I want to show you what I did already. Using the materials Finished that are product. in the yes. No pressure, uh, no <laughs> pressure, Visitas, but this is what we're going for. This is what you can create. All the materials you need to create um, you know, from the, the, the raw uh, materials we have and create the finished product like uh, Miss Marita has over there so what is do you included. Think, Visitas, are you inspired already? You want to do your own mask? I think they are. Right. We're, we're seeing some thumbs up and they are raring to go. Just bedazzle your mask. Okay. So we're walk us through it, Miss Marita. Yes. The first thing you want to do, since there's a die cut here, mm -hmm. you want to push out holes with a toothpick. Okay. So push out the eyes. Okay. And the little. All right. So clear nose, those areas. Okay. Holes, the, yeah, these again. holes of the nose on mine has been cleared, so I'm going to do that. And the mouth and the ears. Okay. So they're actually little. Um, yeah. These holes are for putting a string. A string through there, right? So go ahead and clear those holes out. You should end up with something that looks like what uh, Marita is holding up over there. So you can just set that aside and you can start with the headdress. So the headdress, if you, you're not sure what to start, 
you can do a focal point. So what I did here is get the biggest bead and then pasted it on or glued it on. And then I got the smaller beads and made a, a ray-like design. So you uh, make them in a gradated design. Design. Okay, so I'm actually opening up the little packets that came with our kit. We've got larger flat back beads there and smaller ones as well. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to get started and I'm sure a lot of the besitas are actually going to do that too. I'm going to take your advice, Marita, and I'm going to start with the middle of the headdress it's using this. We have this uh, pointed uh, bottle. So all you have to do is just press a little bit. Okay, I, I didn't hear that little bit part because I've got a big bunch of glue on there. Okay, so it's okay if it's too much; it will just dry clear. Okay, so that's another thing to remember. Don't worry too much about making a mess with the glue because yeah, yeah. it will sort of dry clear. Yeah, so, and that's the purpose of the wet wipes. Ah, <laughs> all right. So our besitas can actually start uh, opening those packages and start um, getting busy. I can see everybody suddenly yes. um, in, in <laughs> deep concentration. Thing working out their designs okay i think many of us are going to be following your advice starting with a focal point in the middle and using the smaller beads uh flat back beads to create sort of a uh, gradating design moving from the larger beads uh up towards the smaller ones so you can also use any other uh, materials you have at home Okay. Maybe you have other beads or uh, like buttons that you can use. Okay, great idea. So the idea here is to create something colorful, something festive, and that really does exemplify what you will find at the uh, Mascara Festival as they celebrate it in uh, As you continue Poland. that, so you just continue it, then you can, you notice you also have some gold cord here. Okay. What you can do with the cord, these are actually for the, for tying. Okay. Wear the mask. But you can also use it to outline the headdress. Just a little bit like, of an accent on the yes, outline. So you I use like it as it. an outline accent. I like the way you've done that there. Yes. So what you do is try to measure a length of gold string around your headdress. It could be a little bit more. So it's better to be more than less. More than less. Okay. <laughs> then get your blue here and just outline it's you're, you're like using a pen okay so how do you, how do you think what's how would you rate my progress oh. um, <laughs> yeah. it's a it's a good start yeah, yeah it's good. a good start okay so i hope uh, many of our visitas <laughs> have also got something Not that bad. looks a little bit roughly like this um okay. i i took marita's advice and i use a focal point the glue is still drying so some of my beads are still moving around yeah. You so can also adjust when it's wet. It's still wet. Okay, typically, um, this will take a little bit of time to dry, but like Marita said, don't worry too much about making a mess with the glue because it does dry clear, this particular glue, glue that's included in the kit. So you can attach your gold cord all around the headdress. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm laying down a thin bead of uh, glue along the outside. Uh, you can do it in points or just outline. Okay, right. Okay. Visitas, how are you guys doing? Yeah. Are you finding this easy? Yeah. Are you finding this hard? Do you need any more advice? Uh, are you guys uh, craft inclined? Mm -hmm. I, I can see many of the the visitas are giving us a thumbs up. Jill uh, over there, she's got a big smile on her face. Um, our friend Emma from uh, Nong Pen is also busy. <laughs> thumbs up, Emma. Peter, how are you doing with yours? Are you are you uh, working with us? Are you saving it for later? All right, think about your design. Give it some Please thought. Please show us yours. Um, I'm taking uh, Marita's advice and using some of this gold cord for the outline of my headdress portion. Now, it does get a little bit slippery with the glue. Give it some time to dry. Um, but yeah, I mean, like it'll here, all come out. If you have excess, just cut it off. Okay, so it may not look like much while you're working on it, but remember, yes. the finished product that we're shooting for or going for, um, anything is possible with a little bit of perseverance. There are no mistakes here. You just, <laughs> just have fun. Right, okay. So I'm uh, taking your advice and trimming the excess um, string. Then you can continue putting on the beads if you're not done yet. 
Alright. How about, can I see what you're doing? I want to see uh, oh, it's really bad. Your, your progress uh, at this point. <laughs> I okay. put all red. Okay, you've got all red. I've got, um, I've got red and I'm going to be adding a little bit of the uh, flat back beads in, uh, in a radial sort of pattern. Messy mouth and my wet wipes. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we show the visitas how uh, how you go about uh, putting your uh, your beads on there? Uh, for these big beads, it's it's okay to use your hands, but yep. if you want to put sequins or sequins, mm -hmm. this is how you do it. Okay, here's a little little tip. Now I'm I'm finding it a little bit hard to actually grip these smaller oh, yeah. um, actually, uh, beads. You can get your toothpick. Dab a little bit of glue on the tip mm -hmm. and use that like a magnet. All right, so I am going to do that. I'm going to grab my toothpick. I'm going to put a little dab of um, glue on the end of it, and I'm going to. We're actually going to be using the toothpick to pick the to beads. pick up the beads yeah. um, with, with, with the, uh, the glue on there. Have too messy okay, so follow along with me. I'm having a hard time picking up these beads. I'm using this toothpick and I'm picking up one of Hey, hey, that works. That work, huh? Look at that. And then I'm going to lay it down onto my headdress uh, base. So again. But there should be glue on the base. Yep. So again, I picked there up a little bead with my toothpick and I'm putting it on my headdress base. Hey. Okay, so Besitas, that's a little tip. If you're having a hard time picking up these uh, these beads and they are quite small, you can use a toothpick. Um, as you can see, Marie, uh, Marita is showing us how it's done. She put a little dab of uh, glue on the end of the toothpick and is using that to pick up then the smaller beads. Then you can use beads. Two, two toothpicks to help you move it around. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> All right, so once we're, um, you know, put once we've put a little bit of effort into the yes. pattern that we have here on our headdress, um, guys, this is a developing sort of uh, design. Keep it going and keep adding to it and build on what you already have there. Then if you want to start on the, the face, you could also start with the face. Okay. Just put that aside first, continue later. For the face, it's the same technique. Put glue on an area, but don't put glue all over or mm -hmm. several areas at the same time. Okay, so you want to work yes. one small area at a time. Because I, I just uh, realized it does take a little bit of patience and a little bit of uh, uh, you know uh, effort to, to, to fill in a small yeah. area like this. So and I'm going to choose this area around the eye to work. And if you, if you keep on putting glue all at the same time, it will dry. Right. You won't have time to Okay, so I'm using uh, the glue, putting little dabs on there. I'm going to be opening up my uh, one sequence. Okay, now I see the value of keeping them organized the way you have. It's going to get a little bit messy here, uh, the way I have it. But I'm using your technique. I'm going to use the toothpick to pick it up. And look at that, it works. And uh, yeah, putting it down. All right, visitas. How are you guys doing? Show show me your uh, your progress so far. I know it's hard to show. Wow, look at this. Look at Emma from Tom Ten. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. You've got a great sort of design going on there. I think Peter has, has joined us and gotten into the act here. Alan um, is also busy. Uh, he's got a great background going there. Very festive. He's well uh, along the way, and he's chosen to sort of decorate the uh, the mask in his own sort of fashion. So go ahead, get creative. Uh, Marita gave us a great tip. There are no mistakes uh, in this uh, process. You can uh, even go fast. Everything is valid. Here. Okay. How long have you been into this uh, sort of uh, arts and crafts? Uh, Making things? Uh, yeah. After I left the corporate world, I yeah. tried to look for something to do with my hands since I really wanted to do things with my hands. And then I took workshops, I learned stuff. I'm a small, I always wanted to make things. Right. Once an artist, always an artist, right? Yeah. Right. You always find your 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 way. And yeah, it's a great satisfaction. Okay, speaking of satisfaction, I'm pretty satisfied with my progress okay. here. I tell you what, it's a little bit fiddly, it's a little bit fine work. Put some patience into yes. it and you will definitely have a great result. 
Michael. Uh, Michael and then uh, is that Michael? Yep. Oh wow, he's well on the way. Wow. He's actually got the feathers on there. Oh, um, we're let's, let's, uh, let's actually uh, move on to to the next step. Okay. I think many of our okay. visitors have actually integrated some of the feathers. What are yeah. your tips for uh, adding some of the feathers? For the feathers, you first put glue on the head here, yeah. not on the headdress. On the head. And then, like the the radiant beads, you choose the tallest feather. Okay. Put it in the middle. So I've got a purple feather. This would be the longest feather that I that I have in the kit, and I'm going to use that as the center or the yes. focal point of and my mask. And put other mask. feathers around. Sort of radiating. Radiating. Okay. Sort um, of like a fan. True. 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 And I like the finished product. It gives us something to shoot for. Yes. Right. Now this is my progress. I've got something like this oh, going. What do you think? What do you think of that? Yeah, that's nice. That's sort of okay. You see this? Are you uh, sort of uh, in this stage of production? How's it going for you guys? Let me see. Hold them up. Hold up your mask and let me see how far you're going. Now it looks like you guys are so focused in creating these DIY masks. Well, <laughs> while you're doing that, let me share with you some stories about the Mascara Festival. Now keep working and just listen to me. The preparation for a five to six minute street dance performance takes guess what? It takes about six to wow. six months to about a whole year. And you heard me right. Okay, one whole year. It's not just the dancers who are involved. It's the whole barangay or the local community. From the costumes to the choreography down to the gigantic masks that the dancers wear, all of these is a product of creativity and the ingenuity of the locals. Hmm? All right, guys. Let me see how you're doing. Show me. Yeah. Yep, it's looking pretty good. Looks like your feathers are, are falling. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that. <laughs> yeah. So, Miss uh, Marita, you know that was a great bit of trivia, don't you agree? Yeah, I, I I agree. That's great. And also to add to that, uh, in the beginnings of the mascara festival, uh, the masks were uh, were made of paper, as in paper mache. Right. Okay. And the Have local, things changed? Ah uh, yes. Today it's they're made from uh, resin and fiberglass right, okay. to be more sturdy and waterproof. And what's wonderful about those times where the government of Bacolod uh, subsidized all their work, so they had uh, jobs. A way to, to yes. sort of uh, make a, make and a living. I mean, let's not living. forget the Mascara Festival was yes. created uh, yes. during a uh, great sort of sugar depression, yes. um, and and it really helped the locals um, through a tough uh, spot. And that's really what um, the the, uh, the spirit of uh, the region festival. is all about, and what the Mascara Festival represents so i'm i'm uh, gonna keep uh continue moving along on on this i'll add a few feathers um as we move along but yes. uh, after this the next be... thing yeah you have to sandwich your headdress to your head okay covering the feathers okay i'm gonna come back to this and add a few more feathers at some point but yes. i want to see the effect that i might be able to get when so, i add my headdress yes. on there so we add the headdress all right take so, a look at that like that. all right it's rough work it's rough it's what rough work it could get better easy. and tell you what we're all we're all shooting for something or aiming with for more something time. like your finished yes. project <laughs> with a little bit of time visitas yeah. are you close to being done thumbs up if you need a little bit more time maybe continue working yeah. on those masks you know what marita i realize that designing this small mask although enjoyable really does take a lot of time and patience and just imagine all the labors of love and hard work many local artists in makola must put in creating one mask that almost it's almost two to three feet in size now guess wow. what they even weigh eight to ten kilos guys wow. if you can believe that now visitas can you show us your creations show us how far you've got Oh, they're almost done. They're almost done. Mine's a little bit rough. I yeah. need a little bit more time to, to put the finishing touches on this. But you guys can continue to create uh, and, and uh, add on, build on the design that you have here. Let's go ahead. And Paula and Visitas, what I showed you to make mm -hmm. is just one way using the materials in our kit. But you could also use recyclable ma materials or things around the house like yeah. buttons, popsicle sticks. and. Even pom pom balls like Look at that. that's fantastic. That's a great variation on there. I like what you've done there. You've got pipe cleaners, pom poms, bits of yarn. colorful yarn. Yes. Uh, if you had yeah. some paint, you could probably yeah, you break out paint. the paint and uh, add a few uh, colored markers. Can also sort of give you a very different uh, effect that you have or effect that you uh, might want to create. Um, get creative and just really let the creativity flow. 
And there are some other samples behind me, like uh, using... Those are beautiful. Use uh, gift wrappers. Gift wrappers. I can see some colorful sticks. popsicle sticks on there. Just different ways of creating Buttons. different designs. Beautiful work there, Marida. Thank you so much. And now uh, you just continue visitas mm -hmm. while our program is, is carrying on. Yeah, I think and everybody needs design. a little more time. Yes. Okay. All right. I hope now, you're just, enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I know they are. Just just carry on, everybody. Uh, Marita, I, I know everybody would like to continue with this, and we hope that you enjoy creating a mascara mask made right in the comfort of your own home. Carry on, add to this design. This means, Visitas, that you are just moments away, though, from partying and dancing and just celebrating your life in the world-famous Mascara Festival. So go ahead, finish up those masks. Once again, I would like to thank you, Marita, thank for you joining so us today. I forgot one thing. Oh. Uh, there's another technique you can use, which is called decoupage. Uh -huh. This is just simply pasting cutouts on a surface. You can use um, you can use, you can use wrapping paper. paper. Yes. You can use yes. um, magazine Magazines, cutouts. Calendars. Yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, visitas. If uh, if you guys are interested to see more of Marita's yes. work, where might we find some of your uh, stuff? That's the kind of stuff I do, and so <laughs> so you can follow me at Instagram at Marita the Lemonade and in. Facebook, I am Handmade Lemonade. There you go. Thank you so much, Thank Marita. You so much, Thank too. you so much for sharing your Thank expertise you, Visitas. with us. All right, this is what I've come up with. Visitas, earlier we explored the sites of Macaulod City and Negros Occidental. And just now, we've made our own uh, mascara mask. Now, that means the only thing that awaits us is to move our bodies as we celebrate the festival. To hype you up, let's all say an essential street dance chant. Follow along with me. You home, Bacolod, you home. Have you got that one more time? You home, Bacolod, you home. There you go. Now, that was such a sweet chant, isn't it? So that means uh, smile, Bacolod, smile. You know, that's a rough translation. So join me in saying it one more time. You home, Bacolod, you home. Good job, Visitas. Let's now explore the Mascara Festival and witness a street dance like you've never seen anywhere in the world. Part two of our virtual tour begins in three, two, one. Welcome back, Visitas. Do you want to go on a three in one adventure just like I did? Well, don't worry because going to Bacolod now is easier than ever. With direct flights, it's an accessible ports to and from the city. You can now plan your future adventures here hassle free. Now, Besitas, are you ready to dive in behind the dazzling smiles of the Mascara Festival? Let's go! A parade of colors and talent. Mascara Festival simply showcases the artistry and creativity of the locals, which you can see here at the Orange Project. Take a stroll around and you feel transported into a rabbit hole full of murals, paintings, and other forms of creative expression. A thriving space that will surely amuse you when you visit here. Visitas, during the Mascara Festival, these streets are filled with people dancing and celebrating life. This festivity holds on to the Filipino trait of smiling beyond different masks of hardships that we will face. The Mascara Festival is the perfect representation of our will to move forward as we dance, eat, and live in the moment of this once-in-a-lifetime experience. Visitas, a mascara festival is not complete without your very own personalized mascaras, just like this one. We are now here at the Giorgio Vito Design Gallery and Garden. If you want your own hand-painted mascaras and memorabilia, this is the place to be. 
behind it are people filled with aspirations and smiles. A collective Filipino trait where we always strive to move to a brighter tomorrow. You see them, the wait is almost over. But before partying along the festival, here's an iconic step of the street dance that I want to show you. This step is called the head throw, where you swing your head up, and then you go down, and then you go up again, and then down. Now, Besitas, it's your turn. Put on those vibrant masks and get ready to join us in this one-of-a-kind celebration of smiles, the Mascara Festival. The vibrant story of Mascara Festival reminds us the importance of holding tight to our identity and to our collective aspirations for a better future. Together, we can overcome any adversity with one hopeful smile at a time. Again, I'm Chalon Tok, your local wanderer. See you here in Bacolod, back to studio. That was an amazing trip, child. Really a great one. A must visit. All right, Visitas, what did you guys think of the trip? I mean, we've got so many people who are taking part and watching along. I know a lot of people were into that that mask-making um, activity that I had. And yes. I know a lot of them got into the spirit of this and are really sort of uh, enjoying the virtual tour that we had. So why don't we check in with our Visitas? How you are all doing? Uh -huh. Which one have you... Are you enjoying? Uh, let's say with... Is it? Tapos tayo sa food. We were we're already done with the food That's tour. Right. So let's head on to the mask that you made. How are you guys doing? Can anyone share with us? Now look, I think a few of them will be sharing what I felt. It's not as easy as I thought. Okay, it's, it's challenging, but at the same time, thank you for really, your honesty. It really brings out the creativity. I think the real challenge here is you're handling these small beads. Did you guys find that tough as well? Picking out those small sequence and picking up uh, those small beads 